I'm responsible for building the dam, but nature's responsible for planting the bulrushes. The ducks are running out of space to swim. From this side you can barely even see the water. Well this is my solution. Sarah's not happy about me going into the dam because of the New South Wales alligators. Roots on that. The sun's been shining and it's actually quite warm. The root systems on these bulrushes is prolific and they're huge. Here. Oh, well, come out then. Come out. Um, you also need to be careful of the bloody brown snakes. Brown snakes aren't uh, water snakes. Well, the black snakes then. <coughs> we don't see any. Yeah, because they're probably in there. They're not. <sighs> oh, don't strain yourself. Where's the spider? How big is it? What? Spider. It's actually quite a size. <laughs> and it's a little... It's worth holding on for a couple of minutes. actually eating a frog, dead frog. It's on here. Sarah thinks this is a wolf spider that's eating the frog. So having created all this vegetable carnage, I need to get rid of it. I 
I don't think I could have managed this project if I didn't have a truck like this. So now it's time to hide the bodies. I've taken them deeper into the bush and I'm going to let them just compost. When I lived in suburbia, I used to pay to go to a gym to do a workout like this. Yesterday I was loaned a GoPro in a waterproof housing, so today I'm taking advantage of it. This is another spider carrying a big white egg sack. You've got to be quick to spot this one. The temperature of the water is actually really nice. If you got to your keyboard before you got to this point, there are no alligators in New South Wales. Unchecked, the bulrushes are destined to take over. However, this should give us some space for the next two years. Press subscribe to follow more of our adventures, and please press the like button if you enjoyed this video, it helps the channel. For more information about the ebooks, please visit my website at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com.